What's going on guys, it's Brandon Beck here again today in my dressed in very red best for the Florida Panthers and uh, what a game for game one. For the score that's on the board, 3 nothing. as we're reviewing game one of the Stanley Cup Final, it was not a boring game. This was a fantastic game one played and let's get right into it. Early in the first, uh, at 16:01, one uh, it's a Florida goal from Carter Verhage, his 10th of the season. And what a setup by Barkov. Barkov perfectly floats this puck right in front of the net. Uh, Verhage is wide open. He tips it right past Skinner, and it's a one nothing early for the Panthers. The perfect start for them. Uh, Reinhardt getting the secondary assist on that one. Second period. At 17:44, Florida gets the second goal of the game as well. Uh, Evan Rodriguez scores with his fourth of the season from Bennett and Montour to make a 2 nothing Quick little snapshot in the slot area. And uh, gets a pass Skinner to make it 2 nothing. 4.4 seconds to go. It's a Florida empty net goal to E2 Leafs to Renan. This is second of the uh, playoffs from Barkov to make it 3 nothing. I'm not sure if I said fourth of the season. Fourth of the playoffs. Second of the playoffs for Leafs to Renan. Barkov with his second assist of the game. Makes it 3 to nothing, And that would be all the goals scored in the game. However, that doesn't tell the full story of this game so far. Uh, Loose to random for, for starters. He did not play in the Stanley Cup Final last year because he broke his leg in the last game against the Carolina Hurricanes the previous season. This was his first game in the Stanley Cup Final. Good for him to get on the board. Uh, penalties during the game. There probably could have been a lot more penalties during this game. Not a lot was being called, for one. And... Uh, Florida had two in the first, and Edmonton had one. Florida only had one that was considered a power play in the first. Edmonton only had none. They they each had another two for roughing because there was a big scrum that happened in the second period. So in reality, it's three for Florida, two for Edmonton. And then Florida had no penalties in the third. Edmonton had Edmonton had one. So combined, the power plays Florida had went over two. Edmonton went over three. Edmonton needs to get that, that superstar power play working again, or they're going to be out very quick in this series. Shots were 32-18 to 18 Edmonton. Edmonton probably played... They played Edmonton played pretty well, I'm going to be honest. Edmonton had probably one of their better games in this playoff run, in which they got a ton of shots on net, and they kind of got what Vancouver did to them, limiting their shots, and then overall just... Uh, they, couldn't, they couldn't get past Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky played... Amazing, one of the best performances I've ever seen out of him. Hits were 52 to 37 Florida. Face off for 34 to 23 Florida. Skinner saves 16 out of 18. Bobrovsky saves 32 out of 32. Now they can't be understated. If Bobrovsky, if Florida ends up winning the Stanley Cup, Conn Smythe's going to Bobrovsky. Barring a full collapse by Florida, in which they score seven goals a game every night, Bobrovsky is going to win the Conn Smythe, and if Florida wins it all, which I'm, I'm believing that they will. So, right there, I think that solidifies his spot in the Hall of Fame of how good he is. Two Vezna is a Conn Smythe, and he gets a Stanley Cup with it as well. Yeah, that's a Hall of Fame right there. In terms of what I think is going to happen next game, Edmonton's going to come out, and they're going to be on, I think, the off, uh, offensive rush early. Florida's going to have to wither that if they want to sustain and keep home ice advantage. United, they say you're not in trouble until you lose at home. Edmonton doesn't have four home games, so they need to win one on the road. So the pressure is on them. For Florida, um, they've been they they're in a new situation. They've never been had a series lead in the Stanley Cup Final, so getting their first taste of this must feel good. And they're on a mission. Florida's on a mission to recoup what they lost last year in the final, and they're off to a great start. I think that's going to be all I have for you guys in this one. A lot of breakaway. Bobrovsky had multiple breakaways saved. Another of. Sorry. That's going to be all I have for you guys in this one. I want to thank you all so much for watching this video, and I shall see you all in the next one. Have a good one.